These golf balls are supposed to help you hit straighter and sink more putts. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I am holding a box of brand new golf balls by Wilson Golf, one of my favorite golf companies. Even though they're not one of the biggest golf companies anymore, they are still one of my favorites. I have a place for them in my heart. They were actually the first brand of premium golf clubs I ever owned, and I still love them. But they are a really innovative company, and they've been working on these golf balls. They call them the Triad because they're supposed to help you hit drive straighter, be more workable around the green, and sink more putts. And the way they do that is in the construction of the golf ball. And as I learned about how they made these, I'm kind of thinking, why haven't other golf companies done this? And so what they've done here is they've actually changed the density of the core material here. It's actually less dense, a little lighter than it used to be. And that matches the density of the outer materials, which actually makes the density uniform throughout the golf ball. Now, this does a couple of things here. I think I kind of understand it. When you have more relative weight towards the outside than in the inside here, so more weight outside, even though it's uniform density, most golf balls here have more density, more weight in the center of the golf ball. Because the weight is in the middle, they can spin a lot. It's actually like a figure skater. So if you've ever seen a figure skater spinning and they put their arms out, they're not spinning that fast because you have to move the weight that's way out here around as well. But when they bring their arms in and they don't have a lot of weight to the outside and all that weight's inside, they can actually spin really fast. So by putting more weight towards the outside, I think they are increasing their polar moment of inertia and making it harder to spin. So by doing that, you actually have a golf ball that spins less. And I know a lot of people are trying to get less spin out of their golf balls. So that's pretty amazing. The other thing that that does is it means compared to other golf balls, there's more weight on the outside. And that's how it helps, I believe, putting is that there's more weight on the outside. It's uniform throughout the golf ball. So when you putt it, you don't have this center core that's kind of wobbling around, especially for golf balls that might not be manufactured to exacting standards if that core isn't right in the center it could actually make the ball drift not just on putts but on drives and iron shots as well so the idea here of making the golf ball that has a uniform density throughout is actually brilliant the rest of the construction here seems pretty standard urethane outer cover so it's going to have good grip and spin i will say that i think it's about an 80 compression golf ball so it's a little lower compression than my titles pro v1 now i've actually come to love soft feeling golf balls the callaway chrome soft the wilson duo professional so if you like those this might feel a little firmer to you but it's actually probably kind of split the difference between 60 compression and 100 compression and so now that we know about the golf ball we got to go out on the course and see if it really works it look pretty good all right let's give it a try So right off the first tee, my very first shot with this golf ball was maybe one of the straightest shots I've ever hit in my life. So I don't know if that's just me getting better or the technology is improving, but I certainly like that. Now on the second hole, I also had a very straight shot. And in fact, I even commented it was pretty long. That may be the longest drive I've ever hit on this hole. Now, while most of my drives were pretty straight, you can absolutely slice or pull the ball. It's certainly not out of the realm of possibility if you put a lot of side spin on it. But generally, I found these to perform as well or better than my Pro V1s. I would say that I am probably not a good enough golfer or a frequent enough golfer to tell you the minute feel differences that a really good golfer might be able to feel. And actually, I used my hybrid to tee off on a par three and I wish I had recorded that because that one went straight at the pin and landed about five feet beyond the pin. So that was incredibly straight. Even in my chipping, it was pretty awesome. I was able to hit the flag stick on my very first attempt. Flag stick? Dude. So I felt like it felt pretty good around the green on the short stuff, whether I was using my chipper or whether I was using my wedges. Here I put the balls up on a little bit of a knoll so that it really makes you need to put some spin on the ball to get them to sit. Otherwise they will definitely run off the back of the green. In many cases, a shot like this, I would actually open up the club face and try to flop the ball, but I just wanted to stay square to see what kind of bite they would have. I really think the urethane cover on these golf balls is key to them biting and having some spin when they hit the green. Lastly, how did the putting go? Well, again, they putted pretty well. I didn't notice any wobble, so there was no inconsistency in manufacturing as far as I could tell. One of the funny things about this is a friend of mine 
texted me while I was testing these balls and asked if I had tried the Wilson Triad golf balls because he sank 11 one putts in his last round of golf and was stunned by them. And so I texted him back that I was also playing them and found them to be quite good. The reality is some players can probably tell you in a blind test, 80 compression from 100 compression, I can't tell you that, I'm just not good enough or consistent enough to do that. However, I will tell you that these golf balls played as well as any golf ball I've ever played, and most of the time I'm playing Titleist Pro V1s. So I would have no trouble replacing all my Pro V1s with these golf balls. And so if you wanna see if uniform density in a golf ball is gonna help you hit straighter and sink more putts, I'll put a link to the Wilson Triad golf balls in the description Description below, Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.